So, before I even begin this new exciting video for my Shima Hair subscribers, I really do need to address something. Um, this something is in the form of negative energy floating around regarding me. Here I am trying to teach other women of color like myself how to grow beautiful longer afro textured hair. But like anything positive you try to do in this world, negative energy will try to bring you down. So ladies, if you have in any way been affected by this negative energy, I want you to know something. And I'm very serious about this. And please take it to heart. Do not let them discourage you. Again, do not let them discourage you. Discourage you from your hair goals. I'm telling you right now, if you let this negative energy discourage you from your hair goals, mark my words, you can kiss your Pocahontas hair goodbye. And I'm not saying this to be arrogant in any way. I'm just saying this from experience. Because on my journey to healthier, longer, butt length hair, negative energy tried to bring me down. But I was a fighter. I survived it. And my hair is butt length. But a lot of people out there don't have the strength that I have. The negative energy contaminates them. It contaminates them and takes away their dreams and their goals so that they can become like those other people. Remember the saying, misery loves company? Misery loves company. And it wants your company. Again, mark my words and mark your calendars too. If you let that negative energy get to you, one month from now, two months from now, three months from now, where your hair could have been maybe APL if it was neck length or possibly waist length if it was already um, down your back mm -mm -mm -mm. the negative energy has taken it away so anyway I needed to say this because if you allow what I'm telling you not to allow to take your hopes and dreams away you may as well stop <laughs> You may as well give up right now because it's not going to happen. The negative energy will not allow you to think positive. You have to be strong. Okay, ladies? Now, this is the first video on my Shima's favorite hair recipes series. And I'm going to ad address the problem with dandruff. I've gotten a lot of questions regarding dandruff. And I want to address it in the form of a video. Um, let's see. Well, let me ask you, what is dandruff? Is it what? It has something to do with the scalp, right? It has something to do with scratching, right? Itchiness, right? Okay, let's get into it. Well, ladies, just like our hair, the skin on our scalp, as well as the skin on the rest of our bodies is constantly renewing itself. In other words, it is shedding. Remember how I spoke about hair shedding in a prior video? Well, the skin on the pond or scalp also sheds, but as it sheds, it's renewing itself. Usually this type of shedding goes unnoticed, but when it becomes noticeable, that's when it is known as dandruff. You know it's dandruff when you see those yucky white flakes uh, when you're scratching with your fingers and you, they look round or they look, oh, they just look yucky. But, but they're usually white and they're flakes. Well, that's dandruff. It's not always build up. It is dandruff, uh, especially because it's so itchy. Mm -hmm. Also, keep in mind that there is such a thing as mild dandruff as well as severe dandruff. For example, mild dandruff is usually the result of too much oiliness of the skin and not because of a dry scalp as so many misinformed people like to think. 
again mild dandruff is usually the result of too much oiliness of the skin and I'm gonna discuss oily skin in another video I'm gonna give you some uh, more Shima hair recipes for this one too okay um, it is not because of a dry scalp okay so just keep that in mind uh, I am going to give you some effective home remedies for the oily scalp uh, it, it's going to be effective. Anything that's coming from me will be effective in a positive way. So don't worry. Shima got you covered, lady. Shima got you covered. Okay, now for severe dandruff. In severe cases of dandruff, this is caused by a disease known as seborrheic eczema. I may be mispronouncing it a little because I don't want to get technical. So you can actually look this word up. It It is spelled S E. B O R R H O E I C, and the second word is esma, is E C Z E M A. Okay, or it's also called uh, seborrheic dermatitis, and it can vary from mild cases, uh, which are only a problem in winter, and then it could become more severe when flaking occurs in places other than just the scalp. For example, not only will your scalp be red and itchy in the scalp area, but also the skin around your nose, the lines on your cheeks, your eyebrows, your ears, and your torso can also be red and itchy. So, basically, this is what dandruff is all about. Now, let me explain how we're going to get rid of these yucky white flakes, also known as dandruff. Shima's favorite hair recipe number one. Okay, to get rid of dandruff, and this is just one of the ways, I'm going to give you about five ways. To get rid of dandruff, you're going to mix yourself some camphor in coconut oil. Okay, and what in God's name is camphor? Camphor, ladies, and that is C-A-M-P-H-O-R is a herb which means that it comes from a plant that eventually grew into a tree and this herb has many uses it can be used to relieve arthritis stiff muscle joints and if you mix it with something like Vaseline you can rub it upon your chest to clear up congestion it can also so you know soften your chapped lips you can use it for all types of insect bites and it will also can repair insects themselves the Chinese uh, back well they still do not just back in the days but they still use this herb to help with treating <laughs> diarrhea but this is why it, it should not be used or taken internally though so I just thought you would like to know what camphor is and where it comes from and that there you have it okay you are going to apply this oil daily to your scalp remember you're going to mix the camphor with coconut oil and you're going to use the pads of your fingers, ladies, as you are um, dabbing or rubbing the oil, the mixture, into your scalp. Don't use your nails. Some of you drop blood because your nails are so damn sharp, so be careful. The application should be done nicely with your fingertips, working at the hair roots in the scalp. Your nightmare with dandruff will disappear within about, let's say, 20 days tops. That's a, a very um, effective um, recipe right there. So shouldn't exceed more than 20 days. Okay, here's number two. Prepare yourself a mixture of lemon juice and coconut oil. You are going to apply this mixture to your hair and then massage it deep into your scalp. Again, using the pads of your fingers, ladies. You are going to do this regularly for a couple of days at least 10 to 15 days that's about two weeks tops and this mixture or I should say this hair recipe should also solve your problem with dandruff 